What's up? How are you guys today? We're going to make a healthy hypoallergenic mayonnaise with egg whites. And I believe we did a recipe some years ago now on how to make like a healthy mayonnaise in general using high quality eggs, animal fats. But this is going to be geared towards people who don't typically tolerate mayonnaise, whether it's the eggs or the fats. This is as close as it really gets. Uh, to maximum unless you're you know literally feeding the chickens a hypoallergenic feed which I hope to do in the future and getting really really crazy and strict with it but we'll go into details once we take a look at these ingredients and this is going to be a pretty classic mayonnaise you know with the exception of us removing the egg yolks because we don't want to oxidize them when we blend this for so long that's the main reason and one of the worst foods to blend up really is eggs uh, brains as well because they're very high in cholesterol but you know when would you really be blending up brains unless you're doing some crazy raw smoothie same thing with fish whenever there's a considerable omega-6 or omega-3 content to a food generally speaking bad for the blender so just by using egg whites we're removing the oxidation concerns we have the salt from Frankie syringe meat as well Dijon mustard and this is from France so I'm not as concerned about it not being organic and I wanted something that tastes pretty good too. Grey Poupon is probably fine. I just didn't feel like Googling where it was from. You have some organic lemons. Uh, this is the big difference. This is liquid coconut oil, in my opinion, one of the least inflammatory fats. It's basically refined MCT oil, just a clean saturated fat. We don't have to worry about the body processing any of it. And uh, just a little bit of sugar uh, that's traditionally added in most commercial mayonnaise recipes. So first we're going to just separate the egg yolks. And I've gotten a lot of uh, positive reviews, guys, on these eggs on Frankie's strange meat. So we'll definitely talk about them this week. So we're only using two eggs in this recipe. If the eggs look small, maybe use three. So before we add anything to these egg whites, we're going to blend them up and aerate them. Now that we have incorporated air into the egg whites, we're going to add the remainder of the flavoring ingredients. So maybe half a teaspoon of salt, a teaspoon of sugar about half a teaspoon of mustard maybe not even guys be, be really careful and light on the mustard because it will uh, overpower the mayo so maybe an eighth of a teaspoon then we want two tablespoons of lemon juice which is probably about one and a half lemons so if you want you could add some caramelized garlic to this that would be nice as well so all the flavoring ingredients have been added now we're going to slowly incorporate the oil maybe a tablespoon at a time to start. Blending it about 10 to 15 seconds each time. So we did it about five times, it's starting to thicken up. And yeah, this seems like a lot of work, but you're going to have mayonnaise for like a week. And there's nothing that's this healthy in the supermarket. So this recipe calls for 200 grams of oil, which is about a cup. So it might start getting solid before all the oil is added. So kind of stop blending and as you guys can see from the outside, uh, the mayo is kind of stuck in the top because it's, uh, it's all solidified and emulsified. So that's really it guys. Have a little patience. Really hot actually. Definitely want to chill this before I use it. So there we have it guys. Hypoallergenic mayo. I'm going to enjoy this on my steak sandwich in a few minutes. But very, very good. Excellent, excellent, excellent. Probably one of the best tasting mayos I've ever had. Uh, swapping out the egg yolk uh, doesn't really make much of a difference on the flavor because a lot of that's coming from the acidity, the lemon juice, the mustard especially. And I can't say it enough, guys. Anything you buy in the supermarket is going to be oxidized. It's going to have vegetable seed oils. It's not going to be good for you. So if you're having mayonnaise in general, you're going to have to make it. And this is a version that might be a little bit easier on most of your stomachs. Uh, so thank you guys for joining me today. Hopefully you enjoy this recipe, and as always, thank you guys for continuing to support me. Hopefully I can uh, provide you guys with high-quality foods for a very long time and uh, keep 
coming out with new stuff, new recipes, and uh, things to make not only healthy food, but delicious food as well. Uh, so we do have the eggs available on frankiesforrangemeat.com. Trying to keep them consistent. Uh, maybe we'll lower the price, maybe not. Uh, the, the current price is, you know, I was anticipating more broken eggs, so we might be able to go down a bit, but I have to figure that out over the next few weeks. Frankiesforrangemeat.com, guys. Thanks again for joining me, and I'll see you guys for the next video, which is going to be pretty important. Uh, tomorrow we'll talk about how you guys need to uh, email me in order to get the sausages, hot dogs, and stuff we're going to try to do again.